This is my dream university. You see? Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. I need a minute. Uh, it wasn't working well anyway. No, um, maybe you go to get repaired and then I'll pay you back the cost. No, you don't need to. No, I'm sorry. Um, do you have any papers on you? Papers? Yes, oh, papers. thanks. I can turn your pen. Why can't Jin write her phone number on the full receipt without using pencil? Actually, she's writing on a special type of paper, thermal paper. The thermal paper secret of printing is based on acid-based chemistry. The thermal paper is coated with a layer of chemical dye, which is sensitive to the pH. On the bottom, there's another layer of acidic material, which is sensitive to the heat. When heated, the bottom layer that contains acid, for example, octodecal phosphoric acid, will melt and in turn release protons to change the environment to be acidic. In acidic conditions, chemical dyes such as crystal violet lactin can accept a proton and transform from a colorless state to the black color. So to print out on a piece of thermal paper, all we need is just heat. When Jin scratched the full receipt using her fingernails, the heat generated from friction allowed her to print on the paper. Since the thermal paper was first introduced in the 1960s, it has been widely used all over the world. Even our own campus, we can find a number of examples such as LG7 Canteen, ATM Machine, Park and Shop, and the Bookstore. Thermal paper is a great example of the application of acid-based chemistry in our daily life. <laughs>